Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? USC Jay here with some breaking news, with some crazy news. Listen, USC gets a decommitment from Justice Terry. Listen, let me cut the chase and let me take the gloves off because I USC Jay got to come correct with this because you know there's a lot of people that really don't understand. I've seen some some just dumb comments. I haven't even made a video yet talking about Justice Terry. Dumb comments talk about Coach Henny is hype. That got to be one of the dumbest comments I've ever heard in my life. Um, it has nothing to do, let me reiterate this, nothing to do with the coaching staff. It has nothing to do with Lincoln Riley, nothing to do with Coach Henny, but it's the same old problem. And I got this from a reliable source that came directly to me, a couple of them, and they said, Jay, don't, you know, please don't, but please don't mention anything about me. And, and I always stick to my word. Listen. USC has a problem when it comes to um, just the, 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 the NIL aspect. Um, you know, I was told initially that this thing was, was fixed. It's going to happen with our 2025 class. However, when it's time to, and for those who say that, look, we've already gave these guys a bag. These guys haven't got the bag yet. Uh, however, there are promises being made. I'm saying, USCJ saying it. There are promises being made. And when it's time to deliver on the promises from what per source, from what I'm told, the promises are not being kept. And of course, these guys are going to want to exit out somewhere else. They come from all over the country. They're coming from Georgia. And listen, it's not even just the Georgia guys, guys that are local. You know what? You know what? They're being promised something from somewhere else. And guess what? Those promises are being met. Schools like Oregon, schools like Ohio State, they're putting their money where their mouth is. That's why, listen, I, you know, I don't know how naive people are going to continue to be, but do you guys realize that Justice Terry was supposed to come visit USC this weekend? However, all of a sudden, he's now going to Alabama this weekend, which is the 21st. And so you, you, you guys got to get your, you know, don't, people that don't realize what's going on, you want to blame the coaching staff, Coach Henney, Coach Lincoln Riley, Coach Shanua, all those coaches did what they were supposed to do by getting these guys committed. They got them committed. Now, it's got to be up to our collective to get these guys to lock, seal, and deliver. You guys know Justice Terry, is, you know, both of those guys, Justice Terry and Isaiah Gibson, went to Georgia. They're not – it's not looking like they're, they're uh, um, making another official visit there. They went there. But now he's going to Alabama. So we can say, oh, they're going back to Georgia. But this guy's going to Alabama to make a visit. Look, we got to come. We got to wake up and smell the coffee. You know, we we, we we selling people these dreams as far as um, coming to USC. And it's a real dream because we got real coaches. But at the end of the day, the reality is, is that we no longer live by the old rules. And I wish people would really understand that. The old rules don't exist. There is another aspect to recruiting and i told you guys this i told you guys two years ago when this thing first hit when when it was from the boulevard when it was from state out all these lost in the sauce things that come into play but never really produce anything and 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 they promised our players that we had at the time and i you know i'm not gonna get into all that but some of those guys didn't receive their stuff i know this is per source and uh, you know i try to not put all this stuff out there because you know I understand that a lot of recruits listen, but you know, I'm just giving you guys the real hard cold facts. USC has got to make up their mind. Do they want to play real ball or do they want to play fake ball? Real ball is you get the guys committed, you get the coaching staff. That's one aspect of the ball. But then there's another piece of playing ball. The other piece of playing ball is the NIL, the collective aspect has to come into play. You can't be 100% with, with coaching staff, 100% we're getting guys committed and then you 50 percent with the nil aspect of it it don't work like that we're not living in that reality i don't like it nobody likes it but at the end of the day we got to play ball the same way that everybody else is playing ball if they're gonna play ball and offer them something and then start kicking up money to where they're comfortable now not just when they get there but comfortable now i mean hey it is what it is but man, look, man, I'm about to, I'm going on a rant. So my thing is this, I'm hoping and praying that we keep guys like Stubbs because listen, you know, <laughs> you know, I had him on here on the show. Very excited about the coaching staff. Very excited about the, the, uh, the, 
the, uh, the the major that USC has, the, the communication majors, the the, uh, the media majors, all these different things that USC and that LA offers. But at the end of the day, money talks. Do you understand what I'm saying? Money talks. And this is the reality that we're living in. I don't, I don't think none of our fans, they get lost in the sauce. Talk about, oh, it's the local recruit. Guess what? The local recruit's going to go get the bag too, just like anybody else. You can recruit the local recruits all you want. But if, if we don't, you know, if you got other people offering the bag and, and they're not giving them the bag, it's going to be the same thing, right? What what do you think that happened to Ryan Palin at the, la the, the last minute? Ryan Palin was supposed to commit to USC, well, he was committed to USC, and he was getting ready to sign. Right before he signed, Ryan Palin was offered something, and he was gone, just like that. Wake up and smell the coffee. USC Jay trying to give you real whole, whole car fa cold facts. Don't blame it on the coaches. Don't blame it on Lincoln Riley. Don't blame it on Eric Henderson. Blame it on what it is. It's the, it's the bag. And if these guys are not producing the bag, listen, we're not going to get anybody, man. I'm sorry to tell you that's the way it is. Um, you guys already know where you can find me. It's USC. I'm frustrated. You guys can hear it in my voice because I understand what's taking place. I got caught. I, you know, I talked to somebody credible, close to uh, the situation, very close to the situation. They're frustrated. And then you know what their words was to me? They hope we they hope our whole class doesn't fall apart because of all of this. I mean, because you can only promises could only go up to so, so far but when it's time to deliver on those promises you got to come up and pay up i mean that's just the way it is man i'm giving you the real 100 to true facts uscj32 on instagram it's uscj32 on twitter let's pray that we keep all these other guys man and keep this class together you got a couple of guys that want to stay as far as of course the the, the coaching staff but that, that that's a rarity nowadays that that is not even that's not even the same reality that we live in at this point but anyway let me get out of here man i'm away from the office as you guys see i had to deliver this real quick because uh you know people are blowing me up and i see ridiculous comments eric henderson's all hype that is the most lost in the sauce comment ever but look it, it has nothing to do with him how do you think they feel now here in the, on the flip side how, on the flip side of this they're working super hard to get these guys in they're working super hard to get these guys committed when is the last time you ever seen that we we had this many guys committed this high caliber guys and all we got to do is hold up our end of the bargain how do you think that makes them feel now the next thing we got to really worry about is keeping this coaching staff i'm out